Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to learn how to render a different look which is the lava lake look and we're going to learn how to create the shader and how to change the uh, lighting to give us this result. And we're going to start from the same scene that we had. I'm going to delete this. I don't need it. And I'm going to go to the uh, melt effects and I'm going to make a copy of this just in case. And we're going to call it melt effects uh, lava. And I'm going to hide this guy. And let's go to the shop context. I'm going to cop uh, copy this. I'm going to call it lava volume. And let's switch again. Set the shader. And let's go back to out. And we're going to copy this and make sure that we're reading the, uh, the, same, the correct object. So it's the lava object and we're going to rename this as well. So for this one, we don't need any lights at the moment. We just need a pure emission from the object. And if you guys remember when we did the effects sim, when we did the sim, we included, let's go back. We included a temperature field and um, we use that to create to uh, make use of the buoyancy and that temperature is getting decayed as well with a sim if we go back to the uh, solver itself there is a decay rate there is a cooling rate that we left at default and there is also a diffusion uh, temperature diffusion and a cooling uh, and a cooling rate that were on by default so that was happening in the sim but we didn't um, we didn't focus on that so we're going to make use of that now i'm going to put down a visualize node and I want to visualize the original uh, sim. So this is what we have. I'm going to increase the density to 10. And under emission, I'm going to take on uh, temperature for both of them. OK, and for temperature, I'm going to set it to uh, clamped, clamped ramp. And for the preset, I want to set it to uh, black body. And let's, let's leave it at that for now. I'm going to set this to 1. So now we can see that we have something in there. And the reason it's uh, uh, white at the moment is because the range is not correct. So I'd like to copy these two values and link them. And now if I change this, we should be able to have more range in the temperature field. And because it's uh, uh, emitting in two frames, it's better to view the, the data in a different frame. So let me change the background to black so we can see it better and let's lower the density okay so now we have a preview let's increase this to 10 you can see we have we have a density we have temperature information and if we play this through we can see how nice it is and and how uh, because of all that diffusion and all that uh, cooling we have this very interesting uh, uh, visual that we can use to shade in shading the uh, the bear so we're going to use this we're going to use the temperature field and uh, we've written that out it's available for us to use and we're going to simply use that so let's go back to out and let's look through the camera and we have assigned the new shader so this is our new shader i'm going to dive inside and we're going to hit render and we need to quickly change the settings so it's not that slow and I'd like you. I'd like to make a copy of this. So I'm gonna hit Alt D, which is a shortcut that I mapped for making a copy of the of this panel. I'm gonna make it always visible on top. So if I need to change it while I'm in a different place, I can still do that. And I'm gonna go back to Shop. And what I'd like to do is we talked about removing all the lights, so that should be happening. Uh, sorry, I need to switch the lava. Yeah, so if I hit render, we should see it black now. And the reason for that is because we don't have any, we don't have any light, and we want the light to be coming from the object. So I'm gonna set the emission to one. And you can see already it's emitting, uh, it's emitting uh, a lot of information. And the reason it's affecting the object right now is because the diffuse there is GI bounce, and if we have that on, we get the elimination of the volume onto the geo so i'm going to leave that on and let's gain this down and see what we have so you can see that there is information uh, here and the mode that i'd like you to use in this case is density 
and what it's going to do it's going to use this channel and multiply it by density and this is very very good very um, very nice way to clamp temperature because what happens sometimes is the temperature field will go beyond the density and you will get some weird edge issues and this mode offers um, offers multiplying any field that you want to use for emission with density and that means it will be always inside the temperature uh, inside the density field so all I have to do is change this to temperature and now it's going to read that in and use that for emission and you can see already we get we're pretty much there we just have to change this color a little bit to make something uh, to make it a bit more interesting and we're pretty much there I think this one looks even better than the one I made in the video so uh, I'm gonna compare this quickly with the settings that I had uh, it's actually very close I had this set to zero and the scattering was a bit less to get more emission and the density was thicker so I had 10 in the density and you can see already without changing this the result is very similar so let's move on to a different frame and hit render again and uh, yeah we have everything working now you can see that after a few frames the the value that we had in the emission is not working pretty well with uh, with the scene that we have so we need to animate this value and in this case I'm going to uh, let's see I'm going to set it to 0.5 at frame 24 so it's it, it starts slowly uh, and uh, and increase as it goes so I'm gonna set it to point one at the first frame if we hit render we should see sorry frame two I'm gonna hit render we should see nice emission Let's increase it to one. Sorry, yeah, let's increase it to one in the first few frames and um, animate this as we go. Okay, cool. Yeah, we need to uh, update as well because that will propagate the the correct VDB. So here, for example, we need to increase it a little bit. So I'm gonna animate this by hand. I'm gonna set a key here. And then let's go back to frame 96. Let's go to frame 96 and see how that looks. I'm gonna add more density. I'm gonna increase it to 10. And then towards frame 120. Uh, let's go frame 140 instead. I would like to still see uh, some emission here happening okay so we don't have anything i'm going to increase that to 20 instead and this is something uh, similar to the values i had i used in the in the sim cool so now that we have the shader tweaked um, i would like to add a little bit more uh, lighting to the scene so it's not just emission and we that will capture uh, that will capture everything else we have in the scene. So if there is black smoke here, we're gonna be able to capture that. And I'm going to restore back the lights that we have, and then we're gonna t uh, tweak them down. So I'm gonna uh, force the lights these two guys, and I'm going to hit render. And because of uh, the illumination, we're not gonna be able to see uh, because of the intensity of the lights. We're not gonna be able to see. Uh, everything uh, that is we're not going to be able to see the emission of the volume from the volume onto the ground and we need to tweak this down so I'm gonna reduce this to 0.8 just to have a little bit of um, information captured and I'm gonna lower this even further and then for the environment light we don't need uh, all this blue so I'm gonna reduce it down to 0.1 maybe 0.2 and now we have a little bit more information uh, compared to nothing. Let's increase this a bit more. Cool. So now we can see the ground as well. Uh, these are a little bit different compared to the values I have, but it's just a little bit more tweaking uh, 
uh, and we should be there. So I'm going to lower this. And let's increase this to three. Cool. So yeah, this is very similar to the values I have. And you can see already uh, that we have, we're seeing the ground more and we have very nice elimination caused, uh, caused by this, by the lava like object. And now if we hit play, you can see it animates through, it increases towards the middle and then it fades nicely towards the end because of the all the dissipation happening and we also have some nice environment lighting and uh, uh, sun hitting the object to get some nice shadows and everything and that is the end of the series hope you guys uh, liked it the uh, again I'm providing all the files for the, um, uh, the this look the dense this look the dense look this look and then uh, the file and then the file uh, that we used for the sim creation so there will be three files that you guys can get from uh, Gumroad um, the files needs to be paid for but uh, you can also recreate the same examples by just watching the videos if you guys prefer that thank you for watching I hope you guys liked it if you have any questions please uh, feel free to email me at uh, sabervfx at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you guys, you guys have. Thank you for watching and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.